Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to convert inches to feet. Now remember, 12 inches equals one foot. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have 48 inches equals how many feet? Well, think about it like this. Each group of 12 inches equals a foot. So how many groups of 12 inches in 48 inches? So what we need to do here is divide. We have 48 divided by 12. 48 divided by 12 gives us four. 48 inches equals four feet. So when we go from inches to feet, we divide by 12. Let's move on to number two, where we have 72 inches. So how many groups of 12 inches here, how many feet does 72 inches equal? So we need to do 72 divided by 12. 72 divided by 12 gives us six. 72 inches equals six feet. Lastly, let's move on to number three, where we have 41 inches. Now here, this one's going to be a little different. We're still going from inches to feet, but we're going to have some extra inches after dividing, a remainder. Numbers one and two worked out nicely. We went from inches to just feet, but here we will go from inches to feet and inches. Now we're going to do the exact same thing, divide by 12. So let's set this up as 41 divided by 12, since we are going to have a remainder here. So taking a look at 41 divided by 12, how many groups of 12 in 41? Well, three. That's three feet there. So we have three feet, but that doesn't hit 41 exactly. We have a remainder. Three times 12 gives us 36. And then 41 minus 36 gives us five. So we have three remainder five. That remainder of five represents five extra inches. So 41 inches equals three feet, five inches. So there you have it. There's how to convert inches to feet. Just remember, 12 inches equals one foot. So we divide by 12 when converting inches to feet. And whenever we convert from a smaller unit to a larger unit, we divide. So something to keep in mind. If you need more videos on measurement conversions, check the description. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.